Hi, I'm Brendan Foley, Vice President of Product here at Definity. The Internet computer is the world's first blockchain that runs at web speed and can scale its capacity without bound for any application. In building open apps on the Internet computer, developers can use tokens to attract and incentivize users and others, creating viral loops that deepen engagement and attract even more users. In this demo, we'll see the power of tokenization through CanCan, a social media app that we've created. This is just one example of the types of apps that you as a developer can build and which can only be done end to end on a scalable blockchain such as the internet computer. I'll now hand it over to Andrew who will walk us through an example of CanCan. Thanks, Brendan. So how do you, an entrepreneur, create habit loops and user buy-in? We've given it a shot and we'd like to show you the latest version of our video sharing app, CanCan. First, let's go through the sign-up flow. Signing up for a new service on the internet computer can be as easy as a few clicks and a touch of your fingerprint. Let's go ahead and register as a new user. Here we give it a name. I'll go ahead and say this is my work laptop. And next, using either a USB security key, like YubiKey, or a device's biometric sensor. You can create an identity with the internet computer. It asks us to confirm. And we're registered. Now let's go ahead and get back to CanCan. Right now it's checking to see if it already knows of an identity that is connected to a username. In CanCan, these are mapped one to one. Since it doesn't find one, I get to create my username and sign up with the application. Great, so let's go through the upload flow. It's important for users to be incentivized to upload content that contributes to the overall experience. I'm going to select a small video here, add a caption, and upload it to the back end. The video is being chunked into 500 kilobyte segments to be stored on the back end more efficiently. And then if we scroll down, we can see our video. We introduce a new concept in this iteration called super likes. You incentivize your users to ride the hype train. In CanCan, we've set it up so that each user is allowed 10 super likes per 24 hour period tracked by the CanCan service, written in Motoko. The service keeps track of super-like events and is able to verify if a user has already met their super-like limit. Users can be rewarded, so let's go ahead and give a super-like. Nice! With enough super-likes, a video can become viral. This status is also tracked in the backend and updated with short polling via the UI. If a video goes viral, you're able to reward early super likers by granting them rewards. And of course, we wanted to make it exciting for our users. If you particularly like a user's video, you're welcome to send them reward points via tips, too. After a user has accumulated a number of reward points, CanCan will periodically emit a drop day event, which will allow those users with reward points to redeem them for unique items. Here, the limit of what you can offer your users is only your imagination. In the future, we plan to add the ability to receive CanCan governance tokens, allowing you to become part of not only the community, but also the platform itself. And now, Brendan will show you the rest of the rewards experience in CanCan, that uses tokenization to incent users, advertisers, and others. Take it away, Brendan. Thanks, Andrew. I'll give a preview of the drop day experience and other things that we're working on. We haven't yet built these features into CanCan, but these are the types of things you can easily build in your own internet computer app. 
So Jim sees that today is drop day, and in clicking on this, Jim sees that he has the option of redeeming his rewards for either can tokens or prizes offered by advertisers. Jim is curious about the can token, so he clicks on the question mark, and he can see the latest information on can tokens that trade on crypto exchanges. He decides he wants to redeem some of his rewards for can tokens. He inputs 100 reward points, uh, hits exchange, and he sees that the exchange rate is for 100 reward points, he would get 1.027 CAN tokens. He goes ahead and hits exchange, and he sees that the CAN tokens have been deposited into his wallet. He can now choose to either trade these tokens or hold them to participate in CAN CAN's governance and earn rewards for doing so. Jim decides to exchange another 100 reward points for a compression zip t-shirt. The advertiser can now use the reward points that they've received from Jim to purchase advertising on the app. So as Jim and other users browse, they'll see advertisements from the company in their stream like the one that we see on the screen. Users can also be incented to moderate content on CanCan. In the profile settings, a user can opt in to receiving newly uploaded but unmoderated content in their feed so long as they verify that they're 18 years of age or older. When they see content which they consider inappropriate, they can flag it like we see on the screen. If a threshold of other moderators also flags the content as inappropriate, the user will get a reward for taking action. We've seen in this demo of CanCan how you can build powerful consumer and other open internet apps end-to-end -end on the internet computer, but also use tokens to attract and incentivize users, advertisers, and other audiences to your app to build and expand on its user base. This is just one example of what you can do on the internet computer. We look forward to seeing what you build, and thanks for watching.